Hello, I'm Rick Underwood, and this is David Walterman. We are with the Reverse Mortgage Group, and today's question may sound crazy. Could I use a reverse mortgage to purchase a home? You know what? That is not crazy at all, because there is such a thing. It's called a reverse for purchase. And we're going to look at a real-world example and how this works and what is great about using a reverse for purchase it it's a way to really maximize the cash mm -hmm. for a senior who is wanting to downsize from a home that they already own and we're going to show you why it works how it works and why you might want to consider using a reverse for purchase right right because a reverse mortgage is it's ingenious i mean for something like this when you can explain it to the right person and yeah it's it's an ingenious solution to, for someone who wants to downsize but still keep a little money in the bank yep so you know most people use a reverse to tap into the equity mm -hmm. in their home mm -hmm. and they can do that without making a mortgage payment right we're going right. to show you how right. you can use a reverse to purchase a home and still not have a mortgage payment right right so and, mm -hmm. go ahead no i was just going to say in Reverse mortgages are are very easy to qualify. I mean, that's the first question most people think is, gosh, if I'm going to downsize and buy a new home, I got to qualify for a mortgage. And guidelines are pretty tough anymore. That's one of the big hurdles that, you know, a senior is thinking about, well, if I'm buying right. a new house, how do I qualify for a mortgage? Right, right. And yeah, even if it's not a large mortgage amount, you still have to, you know, two years tax returns, pay stubs, yeah. bank statements, all that. And if you're on a fixed income, yeah, it, it can be a little daunting. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at a scenario of a, a, a single woman. Mm -hmm. Her husband passed recently. Um, she lives in a home in Anaheim Hills, and the home is worth a million dollars. She still has a little bit of a mortgage payment. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. But her her goal is to downsize and to move closer to family. Sure. She get kids, sure. grandkids, right. and at her age, you know, she wants to be closer to family. Right, right. One, she doesn't need a 3,000 square foot home. Right? Yeah. It's just her and exactly that. All the, you know, all the grandkids live elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So let's see how this process works. And I, I know you're going to take to the whiteboard and, and draw some, I, some I, things. I may. You know, while we're doing that, let's talk about for just like on a reverse mortgage where you're taking the equi equity out of the home for a reverse mortgage for purchase. Again, it's very easy to qualify. Mm -hmm. There's only three requirements. You need to be 62 years or older. You need to, well, live in the home. Or make it your primary residence. Make it your primary mm -hmm. residence and have equity in the home. And we're going to show you how all those come into play. Yep. So, yep. So in her case, she, her age is 78. Like we said, she owns a home that's a million dollars and she is planning to sell this home. And she has a mortgage balance of $100,000. So when she sells the home, pays off her mortgage, has the realtor fees, estimating she's going to walk with about eight hundred and forty thousand dollars. Okay, so we're going to assume this is her home. What do we say value? One million. Yep. And walking with about eight hundred and forty thousand dollars after she pays off her mortgage. Oh, she has the mortgage. She's got to pay off. Yep. Yep. Okay. And the realtor fees and stuff like that. So. Okay, so she's going to net eight forty. Yep. She's already found a house that she really likes that would suit her well, and it's six hundred thousand dollars. Look, she's gonna buy a blue house. That's her favorite color. <laughs> so it's six hundred thousand. Yes. Okay. okay. So in her mind, she is thinking she's going to pay all cash for this next house for two reasons: she doesn't want a mortgage payment, right? And number two, she can't qualify for a mortgage that would come with that. Right. 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 So she's thinking, okay. I, I netted at, netted 840, great, but I need to pay all cash for my next home. That That is that is the conventional wisdom of probably 95% of the people we talk to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. That's her only option. So let's show what happens to her bank account, her remaining cash, with two options, paying all cash or option two, using the reverse sure. for sure. purchase. Okay. So if she were to pay all cash for this next house, she would be left with about two hundred and twenty thousand dollars out of that eight forty. Okay, so she used that eight forty. She paid the six hundred plus closing costs. She's now mm -hmm. left with about two hundred and twenty thousand, which is still a nice cushion. Yeah, if that's she not could bad. Downsize and have two hundred twenty thousand in the bank. She was thinking that's not so bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but then she heard about the concept of using a reverse for purchase, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and instead of putting all six hundred thousand down, she needs to come in with about sixty percent. Is that all? Yes. 
Okay. And so depending upon your age, they're going to tell you how much you need to bring in. Right. But in her case, with her age, it was. It was like 63% or something. It's exact. Right. So, right. We're, so what was that amount We're going to say it's, she's coming in with 360000 now. Got it. Okay, so she's purchasing a home worth six hundred thousand. Yep. She's only bringing in six hundred thousand. I'm sorry, three hundred sixty thousand. Right. And so that that would be her. That is her mortgage. Let's and say. And she's still like going. Wait, I'm I'm not, I'm not putting all six hundred thousand down, but I'm I don't have a mortgage payment. Right. How right, does right. this work? How does that work? Let's <laughs> explain that. So if that's the case, if her loan balance is three sixty. On a conventional mortgage, every single month you'd make a payment, principal and interest mortgage payment, and you'd pay down that mortgage balance, and that's the only way they're going to give you a loan. Yes. On a reverse mortgage, it's the opposite, the reverse of that. So instead of making a mortgage payment, the way you service that loan is the lender is going to assume a little bit of your equity every single month. Yep. And it's an interest-only portion, but every single month the lender is going to assume a little bit of that equity and that's how you service the loan. All the while, the, the appreciating asset, this home, is still appreciating yes. and growing over time. Yes, exactly. So. Exactly. So, sure, that mortgage balance will grow. But at the same time, she's in a $600,000 asset that is also growing at typically about the same rate. So, she has all this equity, plus that home is going to be continue to appreciate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She still has to make her property tax payment. Yes. Homeowner's insurance, mm -hmm. you do that regardless. Right, right. right. Even That's, if you paid that, all cash and didn't have the mortgage, you'd still pay your Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, tax man is going to make sure. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yep, yep. So by doing this mm -hmm. reverse for purchase and putting 360 now in Gosh, her what bank she gonna account, now? she's going to have 480000 Wow. To me, that looks a lot better. Wow, so she still buys a six hundred thousand dollar home. Yep. And still has four hundred and eighty thousand of the without bank. Without a mortgage payment. Wow, without and that we need to repeat a few times. Without <laughs> with really without making a mortgage Let's payment. Let's look into the camera and say that one more without time. <laughs> making a mortgage payment. <laughs> yeah. So and and typically when you're down, I mean she's probably been in the home 30 years, 40 years, who knows? So typically at that point you're thinking, okay, I'm gonna move to a new home at that age. You're also thinking, gosh, I gotta move all this stuff. I gotta, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's it's a daunting process. Yeah. With that amount of money in the bank, she could leave it all. She can leave her 40-year-old couch behind. <laughs> she could, as much as she loves it yeah. and the coffee stains on it, yeah. she she may be ready to let it go. So she yeah. could move into the new home. She could fully furnish it. I mean, mm -hmm. normally you're thinking I need to at least save some money for bath mats and new towels <laughs> yeah. maybe. But she could fully furnish it. Yeah. Have the home that she wants, that she you know loves, has updated a little bit, and is by the kids and the grandkids. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly, and still have plenty of money not not just to improve the property inside, but do some fun things in the backyard yeah. for the grandkids. Yeah. Put her in a putting green. Put her in a pool. Do I mean she has lots of money there to to utilize right. without making a mortgage payment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's fair to say that this concept of a reverse for purchase mm -hmm. is probably not widely known. No. No, not at all. In fact, even among realtors, there's a lot of realtors that don't know that this product exists. Right. And it really does open the door for more opportunities. It does. Um, it so, does. And and so many seniors, they're in their home that's paid off, and they, they don't think they have an option. They would love to move. They'd love to downsize. But they don't think they that's even an option. And right. when we explore this option with them, it is, you see the light bulb go off. It yes. is just... It's wonderful. And so many of them say the exact phrase they say is, this is an answer to prayer. I wanted to move. I wanted to downsize. I wanted to move closer to grandkids. And I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. It's so. a really smart way to do it. It is. It it's is a really smart way to do it. Mm -hmm. We're here at the Reverse Mortgage Group, and we would love to answer any questions you have about this product, about the process and how it might work for you. Mm -hmm. So reach out, give us a call. And it's it's easy. We just need a few bits of information. Mm -hmm. And operators are standing by, they are. which is Rick and myself. They are. <laughs> they are. So where's my phone? So we'll talk yeah. to you soon. Bye-bye.